there are some major, if not shocking benefits of iodine I want to discuss. Every single cell in your body needs iodine because iodine is not just for the thyroid, okay? The thyroid consumes about six milligrams of iodine every single day, but the breast tissue consumes five milligrams every single day. And the question is, why would the breast tissue and other tissues need iodine? We're going to get there. The ovaries, the brain, the lining of your stomach, even your eyes require significant amounts of iodine. I mean, it's not very mysterious why Japanese women in Japan have very low incidence of getting breast cancer. They consume 25 times more iodine than women in the US. Even men that consume the highest amount of iodine have a 29% lowered risk of getting prostate cancer. So what's the mechanism of iodine on cancer? Well, number one, it's highly anti-estrogenic. And we know that if you have estrogen dominance, it puts you at risk for cancer, especially of the breast, the ovary, the uterus. Some women even use Lugo's solution. It's an iodine solution with a little bit of oil and they rub it into the breast as a way of reducing fibrocystic breast. Iodine also has another effect on cancer cells. It causes the cancer cell to commit suicide. Iodine also strengthens the thyroid, which increases your overall health and your resistance against health problems. Iodine improves the immune system and iodine also reduces inflammation. And it's very important for anyone who's pregnant to consume enough iodine. A deficiency of iodine in pregnant women can increase the risk of miscarriage, as well as increase the chance of ADHD. And one big myth out there is that you gotta be careful about taking too much iodine. Did you realize that iodine is the only trace mineral that can safely be taken in extremely large amounts. I'm talking like a hundred thousand times the RDA. Iodine is considered what's called a, a halogen. And so they all compete with each other. That can create a problem with iodine. Well, good thing we don't consume a lot of fluoride or even bromide, right? And I'm being very sarcastic because they put bromide in breads, fluoride in the water supply, and it's in your toothpaste. So there's one really cool thing you can do to kind of get that stuff out of the body. You can just take more of iodine. And what I would do if you wanted to do a detox, if you were concerned about that, is for several days, consume a good amount of water with unrefined sea salt. Then you would start taking Lugo's solution. Now, this is a mixture of two different types of iodine because different tissues absorb different types of iodine. You would start taking the solution and follow the instructions on the bottle for about five days, okay? And then you take two days off to let it detox. And if you're doing a detox, you probably wanna also add some other things too, like vitamin C. And I would recommend taking between three and nine grams, not milligrams, and about 400 milligrams of magnesium, 100 milligrams of selenium, and the complete B complex. By doing that, you can help clear out these halogens and replace it with iodine. However, if you have hyperthyroidism, do not take iodine. Some people think that they're allergic to iodine because they're allergic to shellfish. No one can be actually allergic to a mineral. They're usually allergic to something in the fish, okay? So people that have shellfish allergies usually can take iodine. And another point that I want to bring up about the foods that are goitrogenic, which basically block iodine, like kale and broccoli and all the cruciferous vegetables, lima beans. If you take sea kelp on a regular basis, that can easily counter any potential bad effects. Also, you can take higher amounts of iodine for respiratory viruses. And the last point is that iodine also binds with mercury and aluminum. So that's another way to help reduce the toxic effect of certain metals. There's a lot more benefits to iodine that I'm gonna tell you. I did an older video on iodine that it was actually really popular. If you haven't seen that, I think you'll enjoy it. I put it up right here, check it out.